Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our ESP32 S2 chip. Um, I've already went ahead and did it a few times just to see if I can get everything together. And uh, at the very end, I was not able to actually get it to uh, to detect the the X fact uh, hack. Um, I'm not sure what I was doing wrong, but uh, I'm going to show you how to get it set up and. Uh, you can leave a comment and down below and just let me know what I'm doing wrong if you do know what I'm doing wrong. Um, like it says here, it hasn't been tested yet, so there may be a few bugs that need to be fixed. We'll find out later on. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, this is the one that I went with. Um, there is eight left now. Yesterday, or not yesterday, two days ago there was 15. They definitely went down. Um, I did check on Amazon originally, and uh, it would have been shipped out of China, and to get shipped to Canada, it would have been like a month, so that was a little too long. This one only took two days to actually get shipped to me. Um, it so happened, uh, I thought it was going to come out of the States, but it ended up coming out of Canada, which was pretty good, and I got it pretty quick. Uh, but you can check it out anywhere. Um, it will not work for the... the uh, just the normal ESP32s, it has to be the S2. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. The first thing we're going to need is uh, Indrunio, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, we'll just jump onto the website. I will leave links for uh, everything here. You can go ahead and just download everything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download this uh, Windows 7 or newer. Go ahead and just download it and just download. Uh, you can close that out, bring up our download here. It does download pretty quick. Um, while that is downloading, there's a few things we're going to need we can get from right here. We're going to need the, the sync, the web server. So we'll go ahead and click on that one. And you can just go ahead and hit code and download a zip. Now I'm downloading everything to my desktop. so. Depending on where you're downloading, you might have a different location. So we'll go ahead and hit back. And then we're going to go download this one as well. And it should have popped up. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, I have it twice, but that's all right. Just go ahead and delete that one there. And then back up and we definitely need our main files, so we'll download them as well. And we should be good to go for now. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser. Just get these uh, files over here into the center where we can see them. And we'll go ahead and install. If you do get asked for a security warning, just say yes to it. And then we'll go ahead and I agree next and install shouldn't take too long to install it's not very big as you can see it is going fast um, the first thing what we're going to need to do is grab the link that is here and we'll have to add that in because we will have to download our board manager for the ESP32 so we'll just go ahead and copy this And then go ahead and just minimize our browser again. Okay, it should be almost done there. Okay, just maybe a little longer. There we go. Okay, so once it's complete, we can go ahead and hit close. It should create a desktop icon, so you can go ahead and just open it up from the desktop icon. Okay, and once we do have it open, we can go ahead and just move it over here. The first thing we're going to do is go into our file and then preference. And then we're going to go ahead and paste that JSON link in here. I already have it in here because I previously had it installed. Uh, you're unable to do the right click with the mouse. You have to do a control V and it should paste it in for you. Go ahead and hit OK. 
Now from here, we're just going to go ahead and add these two libraries. Uh, this is the server file. We don't really need that right now. So we'll go ahead and add the libraries. We'll just go ahead and click here, go into include libraries, and then go to add zip libraries. Go to our desktop. And we do have them right here, and the other one is right here. Add them one at a time. Just go ahead and select it. Okay, and you can see that it has been added. Go ahead and do the same with the second one. Include library, add, and desktop, and then it's right here. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go into our board options. So we're going to go into board, and then from here, go to board manager. And we're going to scroll down till we find ESP. Um, you can go ahead and do it a little faster. And here it is right here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and hit install. Give it a few moments here. It does go through a few verifications, um, but it shouldn't take too long to get it installed. While that is installing, we can go ahead and grab our server files. We'll just go ahead and just extract them. And then we'll drag them over as well. Okay, this is pretty much done. Okay, installing the boards. And there we go, done. So you can go ahead and hit close from there. From there, we'll go back into our tools. Go into our boards, we'll go to the ESP, oh. go ahead and scroll up to the ESP32 S2 dev module. Now this may be where I'm going wrong, um, but it seems to be working. So that's the one I select. Go ahead and we'll jump out of there and we're going to go ahead and go to open. And we're going to go into our folder here. Um, Mine goes right in there. Let's just go right to the desktop and I'll show you exactly where we need to go. So we'll go into the main folder and then go into the main folder again. And then we're going into the ESP32. And then we're going to go ahead and select our ESP32. Go ahead and load it. You close out the back one. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can see the SSID here. You can go ahead and change it as well as the password. Uh, we're able to do it with the web browser anyways, um, but if you do go ahead and change it, just make sure you go into your file and uh, save it before you go ahead and upload it. But let's go ahead and plug in our ESP32. Okay, so we'll go ahead and plug in our USB cable and from there we'll go ahead and plug in the USB cable. It's hard to do with one hand here guys, but uh, pretty sure everybody knows how to plug in a USB cable. And then once you do get it plugged in, you should be good to go. It doesn't come with the USB cable, so you may have to purchase one or you might even have one laying around. Let's go ahead and jump back to the computer. Okay, so there's one more thing we need to do is to find out which COM our device is on. So we can go ahead and type in device manager. Go ahead and open it up, and if you go into your port section, you can go ahead and see it is right there, and we are on COM6. So we can go ahead and just close out of there, and we'll go over to our tools, where our board is listed, and scroll down to the port section. Mine's already filled in, because I previously was on it, but yours may be blank. Just go ahead and select the correct COM port, but once that is done, we are good to go. We can go ahead and upload it. You can verify it and comply it if you want. Um, the upload does all three. So, um, yeah, just go ahead and hit upload. Now, it does take a little bit to upload. Um, well, not really upload. It does take a little bit to comply it, I should say. The upload is pretty quick once it's finished complying. Um, we can actually make this a little bigger here. Go ahead and just bring that over like so. And then as for the code window, we don't really need to see. But I will show you what comes up here once it does finish complying. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just skip ahead because it does take a few moments.
Okay, so we're just about done. It is starting to upload now. As you can see, it does upload fairly quick. Uh, there's 50%. And 100%. We're waiting for the message that says leaving. That indicates that it is finished and we're good to go. So from now, we can go ahead and just close out of the program as we won't need it. Save changes, you can go ahead and just save changes if you made any changes. Okay, so now we're going to go down to our Wi-Fi connection. Uh, sometimes it does take it a little bit to come up uh, after you do upload the file. So just give it a couple of seconds before you go ahead and try connect it. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and hit connect. And we'll type in the password, which is password. And then go ahead and hit next. And yes. Give it a few moments and you should be connected. So we'll go ahead and open up our browser. And we're just going to type in the IP address, which is 10.1.1.1 slash admin.html. Go ahead and hit enter. And it does come up, as you can see. It does have our ESP32 stats. But we're going to go over to our file manager. And from here, we're going to upload our payloads. Um, so if we go into our folder here, and right in here, you can see these are our files that we uploaded, but inside data, it does have the payloads. Uh, it comes with a few here. You can go ahead and mix and match if you want. Um, you can download and upload your favorite payloads. So if we go ahead and select files, um, we can go ahead and just select the three of them, leave history blocker out of there. And just go ahead and hit open and then upload does take a few seconds here to upload. They are small files, so they will go quick. And then as you can see, it is done. So you can go ahead and delete them if you don't want them anymore. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for in here, guys. Uh, you have your main page. That's just shows you what you're going to look when you go on to the PS4. Um, your ESP information your file manager, which uh, enables you to delete them, or you can download them. File upload, firmware update, config editor. This is where you can go ahead and change your SSID and your password. You can even change the IP address as well as the subnet mask. And then you can do a reboot. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, once you do get the files uploaded, we can jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and get logged in. And we'll head over to our settings and network. Just make sure that we do have it checked, connect to the internet, and we'll go into set up internet connection. Go with Wi-Fi, go with easy. Give it a few seconds here to load up the Wi-Fi connections, but you can go ahead and select it once you do. Um, yeah, just go ahead and select. Now you may get prompt for a password. My PlayStation already remembers it, but uh, yeah, the password's just password. You can go ahead and type it in, unless you changed it in the website. But other than that there, you should be good to go. Go ahead and back out of there, and we'll go up to our user guide. Go ahead and select the user guide. And we'll give it a few seconds here, and it should come up with the host. And as you can see, they do come up. Now, this is where I have my problem. If you go ahead and select Gold Hen, give it a few moments. I usually get the error message uh, unable to trigger, I believe it is, or fail to trigger right at the XFAT hacks. So we get the loading XFAT hacks here, and this is usually where I get my error message. There we go. Fail to trigger exploit kernel heap might be corrupt. Try again or reboot the console. Um, I've tried multiple things, guys. If you, you know anything or if you're able to get it successfully running, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm going to continue trying, trying to figure this out to see what's going on. I believe it's something to do with the XFET partition or the way it loads that it's not actually getting it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep on trying to try to figure it out and uh, hopefully tomorrow I will have an updated video and we can get this thing working. 
But I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.